Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to make a tuna nut bag. You've probably seen a bag like this on either Instagram or TikTok and they look so good. There's a lot of different situations where you can use this bag, but it's generally used kind of the same as a tote bag. So for example, when you're shopping in the city or you're going to the beach with your friends or things like that. It's really practical, but in my opinion, this is a little bit more stylish and more practical than the tote bag because you can have it crossbody so it doesn't slide off your shoulder all the time like a tote bag does but anyways this was my first ever sewing project on a sewing machine and it's so easy anybody can do it now i've made two different colors of this bag the first being this beige one this is the same fabric as a normal tote bag i believe it's called cotton canvas if i'm not mistaken the second one which i made in this video is this brown one which is made of 100 percent cotton and it's a little bit softer to the touch than the unbleached normal cotton canvas. So here's everything you're going to need. You're going to need some scissors and or a rotary cutter. You're going to need an iron. And these two are not necessary but highly recommended. And those are bias tape and clips. Then you're going to need some tailor's chalk and a ruler and some pins. And lastly you're going to need some fabric and matching thread. Let's get into it. Here are the measurements I used for this project, so you can screenshot it if you would like to make it yourself. Start with folding the fabric to half the length of what you saw in the last picture and add a little bit extra. So I added two centimeters extra here, so I have a lot of space to work with and I can just cut away the rest when we're done, so yeah. Make sure to add extra on both the side and the bottom. As you can see, I for forgot to do it on the bottom, but, but thankfully I had enough fabric there, so, so I just added it a little bit later in the video. Here you can see me making the pointy end of the straps. I just marked 10 centimeters down the strap on the inside and drew a line from the corner to the 10 centimeter mark. Here you can see me marking the two extra centimeters, which I calculated for earlier in the video. Here I'm making a dotted line so you can see where you need to sew. If you know you would like to make more of these bags, you can draw them up on some paper. I'm just using normal baking paper here, or you can buy some tracing paper. The process next time will be so much faster and it's really useful. Here I'm marking the top of the rounded part of the bag. I just marked 20 centimeters up and I freehand the rounded part. It should look something like this when you have marked down everything. Before cutting out the fabric, you should pin it down. If you're using a rotary cutter, now is the time to grab your mat and start cutting. Fold the fabric once again and make sure it's the same size and then put the cutout on top and pin it. Now you just cut around the first cutout. When you have cut out the second half of the bag, you can remove the pins, you should be left with two almost identical pieces. And it doesn't really matter if they're off by a little bit because we're going to cut off the excess fabric anyways. Remember that the sides that you put together now will be facing outwards, so be mindful of this. 
pin the sides together and we're ready for sewing. To start I'm using a straight stitch and these are my settings on this machine. Now it's time to sew. So just sew a straight stitch all around the bag approximately 2 cm from the edge. Remember to secure your stitch like I did here. Remember when you come to the corner, raise the pressure foot, turn the fabric, lower the pressure foot again and continue sewing. Now we're gonna make the bag a little less flat by kind of pinching the sides apart and making a triangle and then lining up about 10 centimeters and drawing a line with a the chalk. Then just go ahead and sew along that line. Now we're gonna sew on the outside of our stitch so the bag doesn't fall apart. I'm using a honeycomb stitch for this because I think it's I think it's pretty. But you can also use just a normal zigzag stitch. You want to sew a pattern like this around the whole bag and also cut off the excess fabric so it looks neat. Now we're gonna make the bias tape for the opening of the bag. You need just under 4 meters of bias tape to go around the whole bag. I didn't have 4 continuous meters of fabric. I cut 2 pieces of 2 meters with 4.5 centimeters in width. Now we're gonna use our bias tape maker to make the bias tape. Start by making the end pointy so it will fit easily through the bias tape maker. Then push it through and use the iron to make it flat. Now fold it in the middle and press it down again. Also iron the sides of the bag. Use the clamps or pins if that's all you have and put the bias tape on the inside of the bag. When you come to the end of the straps I recommend just securing the stitch, taking it out and folding the bias tape over and then just start again. When you're at the end of the bias tape or if you want to connect two different pieces of bias tape just put one under the other or over the other and just continue sewing. All you have to do now is tie a double knot at the top and boom, you got yourself a tuna knot bag. Let's see how it looks on body.